Good morning. It is August 12th and this is the start of a new reading vlog. Right now it's just before work and I am listening to an audiobook while I get ready and while I commute. So I'm listening to The Crown's Game. I'm at 66% and I'm really loving it so far. It's like a magical trials type game with very whimsical magic and it's very Russian and it's it's good. I'm enjoying it. So that's my update for now. Oh, my camera has no battery, so I'll make this quick before I start charging it. It's Saturday night and I'm reading There Will Come a Darkness. This is a buddy read with Maddie over at Princess Paperback, except she already finished. And this morning I was on page 39 and today I'm on 250, so I've already made good progress. It is so freaking good. It is so good and I will talk more about it when my camera is not on the path to death but I love it and I want to definitely finish it this weekend and um, I have a hundred pages before I get to part three which is kind of like my goal for the night it's only 10 30 so definitely doable before I go to bed because I don't go to bed on the weekends and then I also wanted to do some bullet journaling tonight and possibly pick up Bloom, the graphic novel, and read a little bit of that because I also need that for the newts. And I kind of wanted to get more out of the way for my challenges for the newts before I start the BTS Readathon of the Soul, which starts on Tuesday. And I'll, I think my TBR for that is probably already up, but I'm filming it tomorrow. And I'm excited because I've gone down the BTS rabbit hole. No shame, like the things that you like. I know people are like weird about people that like BTS, but you know what? Be a fan of the things that bring you joy in life and feel no shame about it. That's all I'm gonna say on that. Bye. Also my bias is a V. This book is crazy good, crazy good. Oh my God, there is so much stuff that happens it's ridiculous i was literally texting maddie my play-by-play -play thoughts because she just read it too and like like there's just so many characters and so many different things going on and like the lore is really well defined so you can build up a lot of theories about what's going to happen because it revolves around like this prophecy and obviously with prophecies there's so many different ways to interpret them and so you're just trying to figure out how all the characters fit into the prophecy and then these things are revealed and you're just shook i have been so shook at everything that's happened so i'm on page 343 which is the start of part three and I have like 150 pages left. Look, I have so many tabs, which also like I have all of, all of these different like tab sheets because I keep running out of the colors that I need. And that is just the life of an annotator. I am in love with this book. Like uh, it's so good, so action packed, so fast paced, so many characters. And like I love the characters. Jude and Anton are my babies. They must be protected at all costs. I am just really thoroughly impressed right now and I'm totally obviously gonna buy a finished copy and there's a really cool pre-order incentive with like these characters on the top. You'll get like character cards of these illustrations which hmm, I need so uh, I just it's so good and I can't wait to finish it and uh, I'm like afraid of it because like it's crazy. This is like my second major arc of the month because I also finished A Heart So Fierce and Broken and that one was also amazing. Five stars and like all these arcs I've been reading are just so good. Ugh. Also, I finished Mooncakes. I don't know if I talked about that, but again, another five star read because it was so freaking cute. And I believe it's on NetGalley now as a like a read now. So if you have a NetGalley account, you can get it and like it's amazing i highly recommend i've been listening to the crowns game audiobook and i have like six minutes left and i haven't listened to the last six minutes so i think i'm going to do that while i um bullet journal and then i'll switch to listening to music i don't know i kind of like to listen to music while i bullet journal not necessarily listen to audiobooks you know i know a lot of people like to listen to audiobooks while they bullet journal i'm just like a big music listener
Sunday and I just filmed a very exciting video that should already be up and that is my TBR for the BTS readathon of the soul and that's why I got all these space bombs and cool stuff going on. You know, and my sweatshirt kind of dorking out. It's been a good time. But I just wanted to talk about the fact that I finished There Will Come a Darkness and holy hell, this is one of the smartest books that I've read all year. So fast paced, my heart was pounding. There were so many plot twists that just completely shocked me and blew me away and I just am astounded by how well written and just how clever it was. It basically it follows like a prophecy that foretells a age of darkness and there's four graces that you can have which are like the different powers um, and when you finally like read the prophecy you're just like uh, I don't know it's just so good and the way that everything unfolds it's just never what you expect and I love it and I'm so excited like I just think the best books are the ones where you are completely changing your opinions all the time because you're just getting all this new information like you start with one ship and then you change to another ship and then you're like what's going on here or like you just start thinking one thing about a character and then you just completely change your opinion of them it's just it's so good this guys this book is fan freaking fantastic please pick it up on september 3rd i need to sit down and write a full review because like mm-hmm it's good and then i was going to maybe read bloom tonight and finish language of thorns which has just been a thorn in my side since february no i mean like it is good i just like want to read the last story so i can just be done with it but yeah this is on my tbr for the newts it's my graphic novel prompt and graphic novels really will this will probably only take me a day to read so i'm probably going to read it tomorrow because today is the 18th and then the 19th is just another day and then the 20th is the day that the readathon starts so i'm obviously not going to start any of my readathon books early so this could just be what i read tomorrow night and i also probably won't have a lot of time to read anyways because i'll need to edit good morning it's august 20th and the start of the readathon of the soul so i read balloon last night for my nudes for the comic and graphic novel prompt and it was so cute it was adorable it warmed my heart it's about baking and boyfriends and it was so cute and now i'm gonna be starting my reread of sorcery of thorns via audiobook on my way to work which counts for both the newts and uh, read it on the soul so let's get to it hello it is tired it is tired what am i even saying it is late and i am tired I just got back from a Red Sox game, which was lots of fun. However, I have a very, very exciting package to open. So this exciting package, you may be wondering, what is it? Well, I'm going to tell you, but first I'm gonna talk about reading because this is a reading vlog and I'm currently reading Sorcery of Thorns on audio via Scribd. And it's cool because usually I don't have matching physical books with books that I read on audio. I tend to listen to audiobooks for books that I don't buy because I just feel like if I buy a book physically, I want to read it physically. But since this is a reread, I'm reading it via audio and it's kind of cool to actually see the physical progress that I made today. So I am currently now on page 73 and of course I'm reading with my little bookmark and I love this book so much like elizabeth is such an icon i love her witty banter with nathaniel and like nathaniel is so sarcastic and she literally has like no radar for sarcasm she thinks he's being serious and it's like the best thing ever she's always like oh my god and he's completely kidding and she's completely like unaware of it and it's such a great dynamic but enough about my favorite books because now i need to move on to a new thing oh my god it's here so I was going to hold myself back from this purchase for a while because I know once I start, I won't be able to stop. And that is, oh my god, I'm so excited. Ah. Oh my god. It's my first ever BTS album. Oh no, I'm so excited. Ah. I got it. Like I was gonna really try and like be good about not buying too many books and too many BTS albums at once. And this one was on sale for $13, so I couldn't say no. So I have a sticker. I have version two. Oh, 
Oh, no. <laughs> I'm dying. Oh my God, I love this. Wow, this is artwork. This is art. <laughs> oh my God, I'm screaming. It's so pretty. I love this. This artwork is just something else. Like this is above and beyond what albums are in the US, which is like why people don't buy CDs anymore. But this is an experience. Ow, I just cut myself with a scissor. Oh my God, I just stabbed myself. <gasps> I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm not bleeding. I have a tetanus shot. I think we'll be okay. I can't get this plastic off, but I, I need to get it off. Oh my god. Oh, it's like matte feeling. Wow, this is beyond anything I've ever owned for like a musician before. So here's the CD and it says version 2, Mad with the Soul Persona. <gasps> Who did I get? Oh, I got Sugar. Sugar and Jimin? Okay. Oh, so cute. They're so cute. Look at him. It's like a little selfie. And then this is like a postcard i don't know like what it is but like oh wow and i that's so cool oh they're so cute oh cool okay and i got this little stand-up photo thingy oh cool look at v with his little duck lips he's so cute there oh and i got this like photo strip oh my god there's so much what the heck Ooh. Okay. Wow, I'm so excited to look through this. Okay, this is amazing. My night is made. How fitting because it's the readathon of the soul.
Saturday, August 24th, and I've just been reading all week. Kind of, not really even reading that much this week, but I've been listening to my audiobook for Sorcery of Thorns, and I'm currently on page 146, and I'm reading with my Jungkook bookmark, because he's my bias rocker. So I'm like a good chunk in, and hopefully by the end of next week, I'll finish my audiobook reread and be able to discuss it on the live show, which is Friday the 30th at 7 p.m., I think. Then I've been reading The Storm Crow, which is a bunny read. I don't know if anyone else started yet, but it's for Jamais Vu, prompt in the BTS readathon because the main character struggles with depression, and it is actually touched upon pretty well within the first few chapters. I'm on page 107, and it's only 350 pages, but it's a really easy book to get into. I'm really enjoying the world and the crows, and I feel like there's gonna be a spicy love interest. So right now they're enemies, but maybe they'll be lovers. I don't know. I keep reading. So it's just really hooking me. And also when you take the cover off, the fact that you have this is just really stunning. I love it. And the elemental crows, like there's storm crows, but there's also sun crows and shadow crows and all this stuff. But the storm crows can create lightning. So this is really, really cool. Also, something about this book, like the pages, like, I don't know, it just has a cool feel to it. You know, when you just really love the feel of a book, I really love the feel of this book. So I've been bullet journaling, but I have some exciting mail to open, so let's get to it. So this box is from, a, from an author that reached out to me. Cool. So... This is a book called Moonflower by J.D. Sladger and basically this author reached out to me and we were able to connect and this is based on his experiences with a friend that had died from sickle cell disease. The friend was named Luke and he made this story to kind of preserve Luke's memory and what's awesome is that this is the charity edition so all of the proceeds from this book go to charity which i think is awesome so when jd reached out to me and asked if i wanted a copy to talk about on my channel i of course think it's an amazing cause that all of the proceeds are going to charity so be sure to check that out i will leave a link down in the description below and it just seems like such a important and heartwarming story and so all profits will be donated to the leap strong foundation a nonprofit that supports families with children from the ages of 1 to 18 that are diagnosed with sickle cell disease. Moonflower, I love the illustration with the moon and the flower. That's awesome. Oh, and he signed it. Awesome. Okay. I'm going to go read The Storm Crow now for the rest of the night until, until it's time for bed. I really think I can get through like a lot of it. It's very easily readable and it's exciting and I like the pace. I'm intrigued by this like potential love interest so far, although I've heard that we maybe have a love triangle from what I've seen on Twitter, but I uh, haven't seen who the other love interest could be. Hello, it is Sunday, August 25th. I can't believe it's almost September. That is wild. So I've just been reading. Last night I read The Storm Crow. Where did I put the book? Oh, The Storm Crow. And I read a little bit this morning, so now up to page 100 and. 95 and it's about 300 and like something pages 300 and like 50 so i totally think it's doable to finish this tonight it's a really easy read but i really am enjoying the world and the elemental crows and then after this i've decided for the my bullet journal newt's prompt of um so basically like the only other ones i need now is like the storm crow is going to go in for my O level of care of magical creatures. The A level was a heart so fierce and broken. E level was mooncakes. Charms, my A level was there will come in darkness. E level bloom. So I have this here. And then here is um, an audiobook for the A level in herbology, which will be a sorcery of thorns, even though I've already listened to other uh, audiobooks this month as well. So I could, you know, do many things for that. But. And then there's also read a book between 350 and 390 pages. And at first this was going to be Reverie by Ryan Lasalo, which I am interested in, but it doesn't come out until January. But I saw Maddie talking about the Duchess deal over 
on her channel and I just like haven't picked up a good smut book in a while so I think that I'm gonna go for that one and that would be just for the newts there's not much crossover into the BTS readathon which I'm also doing right now the readathon of the soul this one goes until September 20th so yeah I really just want to finish out the newts nice and strong and reach my career of magic zoologist and i think that honestly when i read on the kindle i read pretty quickly and i might bring it on my commute or like bring it into work to read on my lunch break so right now the storm crow is going for jamais vu which is about mental health because the main character does struggle with depression and i think so far the depression rep is pretty good uh the duchess deal could definitely count for a boy with love which is a romance book or a book with love in the title but there were a few books i was thinking for that one so you know it's pretty just go as you go you know and i love this spread page that i have love it and then i also did a doodle practice page so i'm just gonna fill this up with doodles that i want to practice in pencil and then go over them and i think it's just a really also good reference page for me to have like different themes that i want to try out you know all the different kinds of doodles that i know how to do so this was just really fun to put together and i've just been getting a lot of inspiration from pinterest i do think i want to do a video soon more about my bullet journaling experience so look out for that in the future and then i just did this watercolor spread for lover by taylor swift and it says no rules in breakable heaven which is from cruel summer which is my favorite song in the album and i just wrote out the track list because uh, I didn't really know how to rank them. <laughs> and this is definitely inspired by Jess over at Tundra Tomes because they did a beautiful watercolor spread. I think that theirs came out nicer than mine, but I still like mine for um, a quote from The Archer. And so I kind of was like, you know what? I got like cheap $3 watercolors at Target and I made it work. It's really fun. I haven't played with watercolors since I was like in middle school, but... Yeah, it's kind of nice that this bullet journal is bringing out my artistic side along with my organizational side. So I am just absolutely in love with the whole experience of bullet journaling. So the next thing that I want to talk about, I guess, is a controversy in the community. So my light is gone, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna go with it. So a controversy in the community, which like I don't, like typically I like to get involved in like a drama or like start stuff or comment on it really unless it's like some high level like think piece type deal but I do want to talk about directly the fact that Christine Riccio from Pulling and Bananas Books posted a video called I Hate Reading Vlogs. So obviously this is a reading vlog I feel like it's a good place to talk about it and then subsequently posted a reading vlog. So I watched the I Hate Reading Vlogs video and then I didn't watch the reading vlog. And you know, like I have a pretty tough skin. Like I don't think anything is personally attacking me. Like I'm not gonna stop making reading vlogs because of that. But I do feel very disappointed in the way that she portrayed her opinions. I think it's it's tough when you're at the top of a community you do have some sort of social responsibility for that community even though that's not necessarily something that you would want but a lot of people look up to you and i think that reading vlogs are definitely the new wave for booktube a lot a lot a lot of smaller booktubers do reading vlogs a lot of people that have gotten popular recently have gotten so because of their reading vlogs so clearly there is something about reading vlogs that people really like and I think it's a way that a lot of people gain popularity. A lot of people love reading vlogs, love watching them. I get comments all the time that people are like, oh, I love your vlogs. And I, I think that they're actually one of the most creative videos on booktube. One of the issues that I had with Christine's video is that she was like, reading vlogs are boring. No one wants to watch you do this. No one wants to watch you do that. And having an opinion on reading vlogs and liking that and not liking them is completely fine. But I feel like in her video she was making fun of reading vlogs and the things that people do in reading vlogs and not in a comedic way but in a way that's actually very insulting to th those people that have that kind of content i feel like i just keep going in a bunch of different directions like i'm just on the fly talking but as i was saying about reading vlogs is i actually feel like they are the types of videos that allow you to get to know a creator better but also as a creator allows you the most creative freedom 
because there's a lot that can be done in reading vlogs like in what other video really am i going to have a montage of myself doing bullet journaling or like showing other parts of my life besides just the books and i think you get to know the creator as more of a well-rounded person beyond just the reading but then you also get live reactions to books and more kind of thoughts on the fly as you're reading and i don't necessarily think that's Sorry. a bad thing I knew I should have grabbed more cookies. I think that I've gotten to make a lot of friends through reading vlogs, and I think I've come to admire a lot of creators through the reading vlogs because that's just really where I got to know them better as a person. Um, I think they're some of the most relaxing videos, and I don't think that we should be putting down content that a large majority of people are making, or that even just, if, you know, if one person makes it, like, there's no need to tear each other down i think we should all try make this community as supportive as possible like i think we all put a lot of hard work into our channels i know reading vlogs are the videos that for me take the most time to put together because it's many many clips over many different days and they're definitely more free form free flowing i get to get my thoughts out there but they put take a lot of effort to put together because at the end of the day it's so much footage but no one wants to watch me for like two hours because that would just be boring <laughs> there are is a reason that reading vlogs do very well for a lot of people in the community and that's because people like them and like to watch them they are consistently probably the top watched videos on my channel and i've gotten to know so many people through their vlogs that you don't get to see that side of them in a sit down video and it's up to the creator what kind of content they want to put out and i just don't think that anyone should get discouraged those are my thoughts um if you want to have a discussion about this like feel free to reach out to me or start a discussion in the comments um i think it's definitely important to talk about this in the community as a community but in a really like conducive way to still be nice to everyone <laughs> It's later Sunday night and I finished the Storm Crow. I really enjoyed it and I thought it was a solid debut. I think I'm gonna give it like four stars. I will obviously put a more cohesive review in my wrap up and on Goodreads, but this book did have a good old fashioned love triangle and I definitely liked one of the love interests more than the other not that i dislike the other one but i have my preference i'm interested to see where the ship goes in the future because i don't know i'm a little left a little bit on edge after this book i really enjoyed the whole elemental crow thing i thought the crow magic was really cool i feel like i've been reading a lot of crow books lately but they're all very different which is cool also read there will come in darkness last weekend it seems like when you work reading on the weekends is like where I get a big chunk of my reading done so I read there will come a darkness and I really loved this one this was definitely a five-star read you can see I have all these tabs I just put in my pre-order so that I get the exclusive character cards that come and I'm totally looking forward to the next book and then of course I have the other books for the BTS readathon which are these guys so we'll see I'm not in like a super rush them. I do really want to read Serpent and Dove next. Dark Dawn is coming out in a little bit over a week. So I need to prepare myself for that book. Bullet journaling has kind of taken over my life a little bit, but I love it. I love bullet journaling so much. Honestly, it's such a fun pastime and I feel like it's really brought out my creative artsy side where before I even started booktube, I feel like I hadn't done anything artsy since like middle school. So I really like that I'm getting more in touch with this inner creative side than I have because I definitely, it's definitely always been there and I always felt like I didn't have the proper channels for it and now I feel like I'm expressing it and it's great. And especially paired with something like booktube where even though I have this creative side, like I am a very analytical person. So I feel like being able to look at literature critically and talk about books, um, just brings together the best of both worlds. So that is a <laughs> little reflection for the end of this vlog, but I'm just gonna go now because I really wanna go to bed. I'm tired. <laughs> Have some fun, read some books, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.